is one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot speed from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to fit, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he can take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in this have. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the finish. Introductions. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean, third Three party points. in the octagon Three. tonight. Three. Great to be back in the H Town tonight. We are in Houston, Texas, USA. Oh, that's the turn of the time. Now his opponent in a full jump. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going over to right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Drops inside that close ground. Oh, gives he choke would appear to be locked in. Yes, it is. Oh, he's got that submission tight now. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Oh, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Great ground and pound by this man. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. He's trying to recover full guard there. Oh, nice. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Fighter trying to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. In the half guard. Making all these shots count. Oh, he got to the spot. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. 
Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game. It's really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm trying to go deep. You gotta be kidding me, he's out. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying on those submissions. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walked back to the corner. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. Oh, defense in the... Well, maybe ill advised to be competing off your back, but he's landing. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Lands the grounded pound strike here. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Beautiful block there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. We might get a stoppage here soon. Maximizing his shots here on the ground. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. That is tight. Break it up! Break it up! Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Hard shots landing on both sides here. So a much different. There he is. Yeah. Oh, look at that! He left up and landed the diving punch. To the he got him. Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it.
Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Kid Dynamite! Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivered. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends, as long as I'm not standing there waiting on the judges. He got his opponent hurt, and he found the follow-up shots that allowed him to get the TKO. Fight, Ernest Swain. 